Hey guys, if you've been watching these then you'll know that this video should be the last day of my America trip and kind of like a wrap up episode thing but unfortunately somewhere on the way from the SD card to my external hard drive it got lost um, so you've probably seen this a little bit if you watched the last video because I ended up losing the 4th of July fireworks display thing which I'm kind of sad about, but luckily the rest was just kind of like the trip back and the wrap up bit, which I can refill. So that's not an issue. I was travelling for a long time by the time I got back. It was over 26 hours in the end, I think, which was all thanks to a lovely, incompetent Virgin Holidays ride. Basically, I booked everything of the holiday through Virgin except for the VidCon tickets and VidCon hotels. And at the time when I was booking it, we agreed, because I was doing LA and then San Francisco, I'd fly into LA, I'd go up to San Francisco, and then I'd fly back to the UK out of San Francisco. I agreed all that, booked it. Turns out, day two of VidCon, I find out I'm booked to be flying out of LA, not out of San Francisco back to the UK. So, me being stuck in LA, got VidCon to go to, no phone, because so I ended up having to email home. It all ended up getting sorted out. What we had to do was book a connecting flight from San Francisco down to LA, then LA to Heathrow, then Heathrow to Manchester. That was not a fun day at all. However, enough complaining, on to the wrap up. First of all, VidCon, obviously. The main reason I kind of went out there, which was absolutely fantastic. I was a little bit worried, because I was going out just by myself. I did join a group before I went out, which was VidCon Lone Wolves, which is basically, it was a Facebook group for anyone going to VidCon by themselves. Unfortunately, I met a couple of people on the first day, but the convention internet was really so bad that you couldn't load web pages. The times when it would actually work were so few and far between that I couldn't really meet up with anyone during the rest of the convention. I did meet up with them on the last day for the Ninja Tournament and went around Disney with them as well, but I think if I was going again, I'd try and meet up more, maybe getting some data or something. I'd have tried going to the main stage more, because I didn't actually make it to any of the concerts. Um, and I think I didn't really make the most of meeting YouTubers. I saw Philip DeFranco just as I was, as I was walking past. I could have easily kind of said hi, but like I just carried on walking. I did get to see quite a few, but maybe I'd have tried to see more next time. And I'd have also tried to get in earlier before the start of the convention, so I could do stuff on the Wednesday night, because I think there were a couple of parties and whatnot. As for the complaints that people had about the convention, there were some issues with the security. I did film a bit on Saturday or whatever, they wouldn't let anyone into the doors and a lot of people ended up being late for panels and whatnot. In general it was okay, it was just that morning that there were issues. The other thing people complained about was lines, but if you kind of planned out your panels properly, then, then you didn't have to deal with any lines. The only line I actually waited in was when I went to the signing for Emily Grassley, and I waited for like an hour there. After that, I managed to catch George Watsky and the Emma Approved one, because they'd been signing for a while and I just kind of got on the end. I'm not sure what all these people were queuing for, but I didn't really queue for anything. What British you used to queues? That is why my background's different as well, because I'm filming this at Jadine's new apartment, and Hello. she's on the bed yeah. over there. You gonna come in? <laughs> Other than VidCon and Anaheim, I didn't really get to see much of LA, because the day spare that I had, I spent trying to sort out the flight and talking to JD. And that brings us on to San Francisco, which is where I went afterwards. And San Francisco was fantastic. In terms of US cities now, it's kind of equal my favourite city with Boston. I really enjoyed walking around. I was staying up at Fisherman's Wharf, and I ended up walking down through to like downtown, and all the different districts and everything. It does have very, very weird weather though. On a morning, it will be absolutely lovely weather and bright sunshine and then I ended up going over to Golden Gate Park and it was just one side really sunny, one side cold and in cloud and then when I went out to Yosemite you drive 10 miles out and you hit like the fog bank and it just goes from this kind of cold sort of miserable weather into beautiful sunshine that's like the rest of California. One of the things I would have wanted to do a little bit more in San Francisco 
was go to a couple more of the restaurants because I think I went to one but with being on my own and sightseeing all day and I generally got back to my hotel and kind of crashed a little bit because I was knackered and then I didn't really have any impetus to go out so I, I'd like to do that a little bit more. final thing I did of course was go out to Yosemite and that one was absolutely fantastic. That I really would like to go back to and actually make a proper holiday out of it because I was doing a day trip from San Francisco so that was five hours out on the coach and five hours back and I only got like two and a half hours in the actual park so I only really managed to do a little short walk around the Central Valley bit so I'd want to go and do like a two week proper holiday where we could do all the walks out to the areas in the park not just the Central Valley. But overall it was a really good trip and it is one that I'd want to do again even if there are like a couple of opportunities I think I maybe missed. I don't think I'd really want to do LA much other than going back for VidCon maybe but San Francisco I'd happily do again and definitely Yosemite but to be honest I don't think I'd do it anytime within like the next few years. It'd be a while in the future sort of thing. I have a couple of other places that I want to go that are kind of higher on the list. I want to go out to Athens and Greece and Anatolia, Turkey. But yeah, otherwise this is the wrap up. This is it for my American videos. I have just been up to the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow with my family as kind of this year's family holiday. So I've got a couple of videos coming from that. I have another one going up immediately after this, which is a bit of a challenge that Jadine sent me. And I've also got another one coming up on grammar, or not technically grammar, but He's language. <laughs> Jadine thinks I'm wrong, but I'm not. So hopefully there'll be less of a lull than there was. And I shall see you all later. Bye.